Awani Channel with VideoShifts.com and this recipe is all about YouTube annotations. All right, so you've seen YouTube annotations. Usually they happen at the end of a video or else there's actually in video annotations where you may see something that you can click over or click onto. It'll take you to another website. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, I've been making annotations recently, um, especially at the end of my videos, and I'm going to show you how I do it right now, right? So I'm, I'm actually on a video uh, which is how to green screen in iMovie 10. This is a webvideochefs.com tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video uh, to my computer first of all. I'm going to explain the myth behind my madness. I'm using a application called Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. Uh, this is excellent uh, application if ever you want to download, convert, and even I believe it burns DVDs as well. All right, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to show you how to use it now. So just go to download. We'll go remind me later on this, and you just paste the URL, and now it's going to download this green screen video to my computer. All right, it should just take a few moments to do so. All right, so the video is now downloaded, and so let's go find the video now. Also, I will bring ScreenFlow to the front here because this is where I'm going to add my annotation to. Let me just make sure this is the right video. All right, yeah, it's a ScreenFlow 10 video. All right, so let's go to the Finder. What is this one? Green screen, I'll move 10. All right, so we're just going to drag this movie down here, this video down here into ScreenFlow now. All right, so we're done with this. Pretty much all we have to do. All right, now what I'm going to do is uh, let's, let's close down this stuff too. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just do this here, and let's just watch. Some artifacts looks like a little artifacts. In this tutorial, I want to talk about green screen. And we're using iMovie here. So we have in our iMovie library, we see some events. So I have my partner, Amani, here. He has two different uh, green screen setups. One is a home green screen. and one That's all we're going to use right there. So let's go ahead and you can trim this or just split it. So your other, your other option with ScreenFlow is just to use the flag here and then just delete it. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this, make it a little bit smaller here, all right, to right about there. Right about there. This is the only video that I'm going to annotate. Sometimes I have multiple videos. Sometimes I have, um, I'll just do one for this instance because this is a, this would be appropriate because this uh, video is about um, iMovie and then this annotation is going to be about how to green screen with iMovie. So that's, a, a, you know, a related video, etc. All right. So let's go now and uh, let's go to this video. And you can see here that I have some other elements here. So I have the subscribe button. Web Video Chef's logo. So let's go ahead and we'll copy. I'm just going to copy those two elements from that into this. All right. And we'll back these up here and here. All right. And there are those buttons now. All right. Make this a little bit smaller. Right about there. Now what I'm going to add is a text box. I'm going to add some text. So let's add this text box now. Add text box. There it is. And we'll put uh, And it is that simple, all right? Got to make sure all of these elements are the same length or else they will vanish. Green screen. And this a little bit down here.
your uh, email address in and you'll get that delivered right in your inbox and we'll talk to you in the next one peace, peace. I can tell we need to have this right at the end of that video clip there so that nothing comes up too soon. All right. And that should be about it. Talk about group. Text box came up a little bit early. Drag that back some. Talk about green screen. And we're using iMovie here. So we have in our iMovie library we see some events i have my partner amani here he has two different uh green screen setups forgot to add the music all right so we'll just go to this other we'll go to one of these i know there's some music here so we'll just grab this music track and there it is Talk about green screen. And we're using iMovie here, so we have a library we see some library we see some. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So the next thing we have to do is we need to publish this to YouTube, alright? Because this is only the first part of the step. So let's go ahead now and publish this to YouTube. Alright. We make this unlisted for now and then we just go ahead and publish it. All right, so this tutorial is just exported to um, our YouTube account. All right, so it'll take a second to process. We can uh, go to YouTube now. So it'll take a second for it to process. All right, so we'll just wait for it to finish processing. All right, while this is processing, I just realized something. This video actually isn't about YouTube annotations. This video is about iMovie. So I'm going to retitle this real quickly. It's just a technicality here. All right, so that's the real title. And we'll go back to the video manager and wait for this to finish processing. All right, so now the video is processed. So now we can go in and start annotating the video. This is web video chef stock. All right, so let's click on annotations now. And we're going to use this annotations editor. We're going to scrub all the way to the end of the video. All right. All the way to the end, right about there. All right. Obviously, Obviously in this video, but this is my first time looking at iMovie, so there's probably a lot more to learn about it. Hopefully. All right. You can use the arrow keys. All right, so now to annotate, you click on add annotation. We're going to use label. And all you do is sort of stretch it around here. So whatever you want to annotate. All right, we'll do the whole thing here. All right, and then we will make sure that goes to the end of the video. Then we're going to do the same thing for the subscribe button. And for the Web Video Chef's logo. All right, about right there, all right. Now these are three different types of annotations here. This one's gonna to be to a link to another YouTube video. This is gonna to be to subscribe and that's gonna to be to an external website. So we're gonna click on this one first and we'll add link. All right, and this is the video here. So we'll just click on there. In this tutorial, I wanna- And now we just grab this URL, copy it, paste it here open a new window and that is it all right for the subscribe annotation we're just going to click on there click on the link we'll go to subscribe and then for the website just click on link and type in the url and that is it all right so let's uh, just go to here storytelling guide just put your uh, email address in and you'll get that delivered right in your inbox and we'll talk to you on the next one Peace.
talk about. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is just going to fine tune these annotations so that they actually start after the little motion outro. So we'll just bring them back like this. A green screen. And we're using iMovie here. So we have an iMovie library. We see some events. I have my partner, Amani, here. He has two different uh, green screen setups. One is a home green screen, and one is a professional one we did at a studio. So. All right, and we will go to save and publish. And then once it's published, this is Web Video Chef style. Scroll to the end of the video. Go to webvideochefs.com and check out our e-newsletter. Check out our free mobile storytelling guide. Just put your uh, email address in and you'll get that delivered right in your inbox. And we'll talk to you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Talk about green screen. And, and that is it. All right, so then we can click on there to subscribe. If we click on there, it'll take us to a, the video. For a beer. And if we click on there, it'll take us to the website. All right, that is how you make annotations. This is Amani Channel. If this was helpful, thumbs up this video, share it, like it. Go to webvideochefs.com and subscribe to our e-newsletter. We'll give away, we go up. We give away swag, tips, tricks, all sorts of goodies for you. And we'll talk to you in the next one. If you have any questions, you can always ask us at ask at webvideochefs.com. Peace. All right, so now that this video is all imported into the uh, timeline, we can just drag it to the beginning here. Now, the goal with any time you're trying to sync a video is, of course, to match it. And that's when these waveforms really come in handy. So you can see that this is the waveform in each of the video tracks. Now, we got to sync it up. And the way you do that is by clapping. So in some of my videos, you'll see me kind of showing the pre-video, and I'll actually clap a few times. So let's go ahead and uh, start. Let's do that now. And actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is